good morning everybody welcome to this uh, another episode of uh, lecture series lecture class i am uh, professor dr kamal bhattacharya uh, from madhavi university this is also a request video one of my students priyanka she has requested me uh, to make uh, her give a uh, lucid explanation and make her un- uh, understand the poem uh, the uh, the divine comedy by dante alighieri name of the look at the name of the poem divine comedy so it is a comedy okay and it is divine so the name itself depicts that it is related to something uh, theological something religious moral ethical and uh, sublime uh, thoughts of human being also if you read the first line uh, then you will be able to catch up uh, the notion of the poem that it is an allegorical poem what is an allegory an allegory is a form uh, in which the poet wants to uh, say something but in an indirect manner here uh, the divine comedy the first uh, portion inferno okay the first portion inferno uh, remember each uh, division there are three divisions each division having uh, 34 cantos okay 34 cantos uh, there are uh, three divisions the first that i am going to uh, deal with is inferno because it is in the syllabus of uh, mother university first is inferno means hell second is purgatorio purgatorio means purgatory purgatory means the the internal emotions that come out that bursts okay uh, by by seeing some uh, some some scenery feeling okay purgation uh, related to uh, you know aristotelian uh, definitions of uh, uh, tragedy okay and the last one is paradiso okay paradiso paradise if you read the first line of the poem you will be able to catch up the intention and why it is uh, an allegory dante was born uh, dante is a english uh, formation of uh, his italian name durante durante alighieri okay so dante uh, he started uh, the poem in 1308 and completed in 1321 so you can uh, imagine that uh, that for 14 13 14 years he took to write this uh, poem it is his uh, magnum opus okay it is his magnum opus Uh, he was born uh, in uh, uh, 1265 okay uh, in florence and he was from a very well to do family his uh, family was a religious family and his father was well known okay uh, so uh, dante in the in 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 the last uh, peg of his uh, life uh, he was exiled and death uh, his death was uh, uh, very uh, 
in a, in a very uh, poor way. Okay. However, uh, that you can read uh, from any book or from uh, net. But uh, in order to make it uh, more attractive and make it more uh, familiar, okay. Since it is written long back and also not in English, students for students it is not possible to uh, read the first hand writing and understand it. The authentic uh, information, the authentic reading that we can uh, have uh, from uh, the book uh, translated by uh, William Wordsworth Longfellow, not Wordsworth, that, that poet. He is Wordsworth, W A D S W O R T H, Wordsworth Longfellow. Okay. Uh, and Henry Wordsworth Longfellow, Henry Wordsworth Longfellow, and very famous painter, artist, Paul Gustav Dore. Okay, Paul Gustav Dore. He illustrated all the uh, imagery picture okay, associated with this poem. So, clearly it depicts the first section is inferno, hell. And in the first line, it starts with the picture of a hell and this hell is Mm, the wrong doings of human beings and the poet he has made some mistakes and that is why he is thrown into the hell. So, he says midway upon the journey of our life I found myself within a forest dark for the straight forward pathway had been lost. Ah me, how hard a thing it is to say what was this forest savage, rough and storm which in the very thought renews the fear. So bitter it is, death a little more, but of good to treat, which there I found, speak will I of the other things I saw there. So, he gives a clear picture of the forest and he is afraid of the density, the darkness of the forest, he does not know now, what lies in the forest and he told that whatever he will see, he will, he will tell that what has uh, he has seen. I cannot well uh, repeat how there I entered, that is the poet does not know, he cannot remember that how he entered. Okay. I cannot uh, well repeat how there I entered, so full was I of slumber at the moment, I was in slumber slumber means deep sleep. Okay. So, remember he is in sleep that means it is in his dream, it is in his dream and he wants to teach others that if you, if you do some uh, misdoing, if you do some wrong then you will be thrown into the hell, into the, inf uh, the, uh, the inferno. I cannot well repeat how there I entered, so full was I of slumber at the moment in which I had abandoned the true way. So, he has lost the true way. See, this is the, this is the signal of the allegorical explanation, allegorical uh, point, true way. What is the true way of a man? True way of a man is honesty, follow relig religion, okay. uh, do not cheat, be honest in life, do not hate others, do not kill uh, animal. Uh, so, these are, so he was lost, he, he, he had done something wrong. But after I had reached a mountain's foot, at that point where the valley terminated, which had with consternation pierced my heart. And that when he reached, uh, 
and he he saw something uh, which uh, is not very conducive he saw something and he, it it pierced his heart okay upward i look and i beheld its shoulder bested already with that planet's rays with leaded others right by every road so whatever he has seen uh he is very bright the the light is coming from the sky and he is illuminated so he doesn't know what it is so this is uh the beginning of uh, the divine comedy in fardo okay now uh, let me be little technical about uh, this um, poem as i told you there are uh, three sections one is inferno one is purgatorio and another is another is paradiso okay and each section is having 34 cantos and in plur- in italy it is cantai c a n t i plural cantai okay so it is the an initial canto the first canto serving as an introduction to the poem introduction to the poem and generally considered to be the part of the first cantica then the total number of cantos to 100 total there are 100 cantos total cantos 100 100 okay the number of three prominent in the work represented by part by the number of cantos the length additionally you you, you can remember i told that it took uh, 13 years to complete this verse it was written in terza rima okay t e r z a r i m a the and the written structure is terza rima terza rima is a verse form uh, in which the poem or, or each poem section consists of uh, tersets with an interlocking three line rhyme scheme three line rhyming scheme the last word of the second line in one tersets provides the rhyme for the first and third lines in the tersets that follows okay so see you can see uh midway upon the journey of our life i found myself within a forest dark for the straight forward pathway had been lost ah me how hard a thing it is to say okay what was the forest savage rough and stern which in the very thought renews the fear so uh, you can see uh, as as it is written that uh, the it is tezaraima uh, it is written that the the, the last word of the second line in one tercet the last word of the second line of the each tercet tercet means three lost okay lost uh, this one lost and uh, you can find it in the next one okay which is there in the last line of the second la- the last word of the second line in one tercet provides the rhyme of the first and third line in the tercet that follows okay mm, so you can see i am telling you mm, yeah uh, uh, which in the very thought renews the fear the last line the last word of the second tercet 
uh, is uh, matched with the last word of the third tarset speak will i of the other things i saw there so fear and there okay so uh, go and uh, just uh, check uh, and you will be able to uh, understand okay what is terza rima so terza rima is uh, a verse rhyme okay and it is henda uh, ka uh, syllabic okay in a poetry a henda ka syllable is the line of 11 syllables 11 syllable now let me understand let me make you uh, understand what is syllable okay this is this is very technical because as far as your ma is concerned you have to be very very deep in study very deep knowledge what is if if some question comes then what is uh, uh, um hende ka syllable hende ka syllable means it line has 11 syllable what is syllable syllable is the shortest span of time when you are pronouncing a particular word okay it is called puff uh, any 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 word when you are pronouncing it it may be um, uh, monosyllabic that is single syllabic disyllabic two syllabic trisyllabic three syllabic tetrasyllabic four syllabic okay pentasyllabic five syllabic and hexasyllabic so it is a very big one okay hende ka syllabic so it has got 11 syllable in uh, each line so uh, syllable is how you can count the syllable you can put your hand under your chin okay and uh, uh, do not touch your hand you with your chin but make a little gap and whatever you uh, pronounce for example for example examination x z m n ch every time this chin will touch upon this one okay x z m n ch the number of touching is the number of syllable so if it is touching five times that means there are five syllable remember each syllable must have a vowel sound not vowel remember vowel sound not vowel okay vowel is a e i o u and this five vowels can create 44 vowel vowel sounds in english so it is a vowel sound so every syllable must have a vowel sound and the stress and the puff uh, force always falls on the vowel remember never on consonant so in a poetry a hende ka syllable is a line of 11 syllable the turn may refer to the several different poetic meters okay hende ka syllable and please note it down in your copy the rhyming skill is aba bcb cde dd aba the first uh, terza okay aba bcb see the the last word of the middle of b matches with the first word of the second uh, terza so a b a b c b c d c the 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 second word of the uh, second terza matches with the first word of the third terza and like that the middle of the uh, middle word uh, the middle uh, the last word of the uh, of the third terza matches with the first word of the fourth terza so you can easily see he uh, it is a b a b c b c d c and d e d okay so the poem begins with a night before the good friday what is now you good friday what is good friday you know it is the uh, crucifixion of the jesus christ okay in the year 1300 started half way along our life path a man's life according to bible okay lazam 89.10 bhalget uh, uh, it says that a man lives 70 years and he is in the half that is 35 years dante that time 35 years dante that 35 years old half of the biblical life span okay uh, lost in the dark wood 
wood jungle is considered as sin pap okay assailed by beasts there are beasts what type of beast a lion a leopard and a she wolf and he cannot evade and un, and unable to find the straight away straight away means the right path okay to salvation salvation means mukti uh, okay conscious that he is running himself that he is falling into the low place. where is where is inferno where is narak where is hell hell is the in the netherland remember netherland mean nether means niche okay netherland uh, where the sun is silent date is at last rescued by bhajil okay at the two of them begin their journey to the bhajil means that bhaji anij okay the writer of anij it is all allegorical okay uh, begin with the journey to understand the each each sin's punishment is inferno uh, is a contra peso okay contra peso what is contra peso contra peso is the punishment by soul by a process either resembling or contrasting with the sin itself a similar process occurs in the purgatorio purgatorio means when you see somebody and you feel his passion his pain and you you associate with him and you also feel the pain that comes from your deep mind inside that is called contrapasso okay contrapasso and uh, this is how the poem is uh, uh, written it is a uh, masterpiece uh, not very tough you need not to uh, read the whole poem but read the synopsis in the second because the video is going long in the next video immediate after this i will make another video uh, of of the of the synopsis of uh, the the poem uh, divine comedy inferno only specifically inferno okay for the timing uh, stay blessed and good day